name is Jeffrey Moss. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Moss Minutes. And what I want to talk about today is what many consider to be the weak link in alternative medicine, nutritional therapy, supplementation. And that weak link is motivation. And this really comes into play whether you're a practitioner trying to motivate your patient to make changes or whether you're a person who's already one of the converted, so to speak, and I'm assuming many of you are, or watching this, you deal with this, but you're trying to motivate the parents or spouses or children, you're finding it very difficult. And I think one of the reasons that we have so much trouble with motivation is there's a perception out there that the information available just is not credible. Well, I want to talk first of all about a couple of articles that hopefully you can use, and you feel free to contact us to get copies, that really make it very clear that nutritional recommendations now come from very credible resources. Now the first article comes from one of the most esteemed heart disease cardiovascular journals in the country called Circulation. And in a recent uh, edition, uh, there was an article put out by the American Heart Association, one of the most esteemed, credible cardiovascular disease organizations in the country. And this article, or actually it's a study on sugar intake. And they make it very clear that sugar intake has gone up substantially during the last few years among all age groups. Teenagers are probably ingesting the most. They talk about the foods that are the biggest offenders, as you might expect. Soft drinks are at the top of the list, but certain refined foods such as cakes and cookies, donuts, are very high in the list also. And they make it very clear that amounts must drop if we are going to maintain health in this country. As you can imagine, certain groups such as the soft drink producers were not too happy with this paper. Nevertheless, this group came out with this position statement and the journal published it, available for your use. Now another article that comes from a very esteemed journal, the journal Parenteral and Enteral Nutrition, talks about the value of micronutrient supplementation. Now you might recall in previous Moss Minutes I talked about the idea that we're not sure the evidence doesn't look like we can take micronutrients and do no, without any other changes and prevent diseases such as cancer and heart disease. But when you're ailing, is there value to micronutrient supplementation? This paper says yes. It was uh, just published in the most recent edition. They talk about using micronutrient supplementation in ailing populations. Granted, they were talking about mainly about critical care, but we can extrapolate this to a lot of chronically ill situations. And yes, micronutrient supplementation is definitely beneficial, and we do want to take uh, a look at that. Also, they point out uh, the issue that, that when you're sick, it alters micronutrient metabolism, again, making uh, its use even more important. So again, some more ammunition for you for motivation. If you like a copy of this paper, please, uh, please feel free to give a call. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is, I guess, negative motivation. All too often, unfortunately, what does motivate people to use micronutrient to supplementation, make changes, is very often it's charismatic advertising that states that take this supplement and you'll prevent disease, cure disease, live a long time. And there was a very interesting release from the Federal Trade Commission that just came out. And they're talking about, they're calling for $70 million in consumer refunds from two names you might have heard of. These are promoters of Supreme Greens and Coral Calcium. Basically, they have been found to be guilty of making false claims concerning disease cures, particularly cancer, disease prevention. And these were very influential. And again, you may want to bring this to the attention of patients and loved ones who may see this as the only kind of motivation that really matters to them. Because what we're finding out all too often is today's panacea is tomorrow's scam. So take advantage of the fact that, yes, we now have information from esteemed organizations coming out with reliable information that we can use to address this weak link, motivating, whether it be patients or loved ones. This is Dr. Jeffrey Moss. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Moss Minutes. I look forward to talking with you on the next edition.